Greetings, listeners. This is Chris Frederick of the Stretchman Institute, stretchman.com, and I am so excited to be here with Mr. Gil Headley, or Dr. Headley, PhD. <laughs> uh, here's the card. What's the fuzz? You may have received it. Maybe you haven't, but Gil Headley, may I call you Gil, Dr. Headley, Headley? What shall we call you? G.A.? Call me anything but Gil. I'll be insulted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you like? Fuzz man? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yeah, fuzz, fuzz man works, fuzzy gill. Oh, my fuzzy fellow. <laughs> so you only have one fuzzy gill? You don't have uh, many gills? Fuzzy gills? I have, I have many gills, like a fish. I like it. A whole new image is coming in. <laughs> so we're off to a great start here. But, folks, there's a fantastic tour going on, in case you didn't know that, July 9th. It started in Colorado Springs. It's ending December 3rd. And guess what? Gil Headley will stop here in Phoenix, Arizona. So, Woo! Yeah. So if you can make it to see our new facility here, it's a huge facility, state of the art, where we're going to host uh, Gil Headley. Uh, we're so excited. We're all attending. I'm attending. Anne's attending. My whole staff is attending. And anyone who wants to may attend. I'm going to let Gil uh, tell you a little bit about the tour. He's been on tour. He's coming here. Uh, why don't you give us uh, sort of what's going on with the tour? Well, so far, so good. I've done everything east of the Mississippi. I'm about 27 cities into this thing out of 46. So I have 19 to go all out west. And uh, I'm kind of gearing up here. I'm, I'm, I'm giving myself a little bit of downtime at home uh, to come out and do, do, do the remainder of the, of the programs. Uh, it's been very well received. I feel untouched and, and warmed by my the receptions I've received at various cities all over the place, on um, Canada as well. Wow. And um, there's a lot of excitement for for this. I'm I'm happy to to say, you know, uh, I've spent a lot of time in a lab over the last uh, 23 years now, and it, it's a bottomless. It's a bottomless exploration. I used to say, well, if Carl Sagan like, was said, what star is that, Carl? He'd be like, I don't know. There's a lot of stars in the sky. It's kind of like that when you're a somonaut going into the body. It's a, kind of an infinite ingress into the wonders of the human form. And I just find that the more time I've spent with it, rather than getting bored or, or jaded or thinking, well, now I've got it, it's quite the opposite. It just keeps like, it keeps just opening up and opening up, and I see more and more and more. And um, and that that uh, broadening vision uh, corrects, of course, corrects my past narrow field, and uh, and helps me to stand on on the shoulders of what I've done and sort of look out further uh, into this interesting, interesting world. Can you briefly explain to those who actually may not know you? You know, sort of what you do, what you have done briefly, and where you're going with this, and then bringing sure. us into the tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I started out as a basically a, a, a rolfer, you know, I, I, in in the dissection lab, trying to uh, improve my professional knowledge base, so that when I touched people, I did so in an informed way. Uh, just just adding depth to my training, basically. But very soon, I found myself quite possessed by the just by the uh, pursuit of knowledge of the body in, in itself. I eventually did leave my practice behind and taught many Rolf person, massage therapists, uh, fitness professionals, whether they be exercise folks or yoga, Pilates, whatever. Over the last uh, two now three decades, I've been teaching uh, gross anatomy laboratory courses, basically for hands-on professionals who are interested in and engaged with the body in their daily daily lives, but if I didn't have a chance to do dissection in their professional training. So I offer continuing ed courses, mainly in a form of a week or so long uh, laboratory trainings where we go through the entire human body layer by layer. I've created an approach that I call integral anatomy. And uh, integral anatomy is maybe just uh, the be maybe the, the little brother or the best friend of uh, regional anatomy. Mm -hmm. uh, regional anatomy will parse things out into bits and name them uh, based on the mechanical model. 
Um, with integral anatomy, I'm more interested in seeing the continuities and relationships of whole body textural layers and kind of approaching dissection like a body worker, uh, like a mover, mm -hmm. like someone who already has a philosophical and experiential grasp of the whole person, but hasn't necessarily seen that laid out in a book because it's not laid out in a book. So you go into the lab and look at the whole body simultaneously with a group of people, and instead of looking page by page at little bits and pieces with names on them, you see these grand continuities, these textures that you felt with your hand but never laid eyes on, and it just brings people to a whole new relationship with themselves, with their clients, with the work that they do with them. It's very powerful and transformational kind of workshops that I offer. Uh, I'm also very aware that not everybody can take a week or 10 days or whatever off of their work and practice and go to an expensive laboratory course. And so I developed my DVD series to address, uh, you know, that broader interest in um, an understanding, a deep understanding from an integral perspective of the human body. Uh, but it was affordable, right? I made that a little extra affordable by <laughs> posting it online because I thought, well, it's affordable to a person in America for 160 bucks, but not necessarily to someone in Africa or, or uh, Asia or Latin America. So I thought, well, let me just uh, render that available. And then um, I've continued in my study and research in the lab as I teach. And my, ch my ideas just keep changing and changing. And basically this tour evolved as, uh, you know, I, I put up my five-minute fuzz speech, uh, which is very dynamic and fun. Uh, and also, given it's a 12 or 15-year-old or it's even 20-year-old uh, understanding uh, that I had, uh, I thought, it's time to, time to share with people what I've learned since I posted that. So cause I've learned a lot. And basically, I feel like I've, I've got a handle on the anatomy of movement from a fascial perspective. And, uh, oh, I'm so can, excited to hear that. Yeah, yeah, because, um, you know, studying the, the fixed forms in the lab, uh, by that I mean to say embalmed, you know, human cadavers, the kind that are normally studied in a gross anatomy lab, uh, you get a certain perspective and you, you, you see some things and you miss others. Uh, a few years ago, I started doing much more work with the unfixed forms in the lab as well. And I teach courses uh, with unfixed forms. Now, those would be preserved only by refrigeration. And while it's not necessarily more realistic, right. because, of course, the, the, the living human is such a precious and uh, beautiful expression of, of, all, of all of life. Uh, and here I'm only looking through the lens of, of the form gone still. And yet when you work with the unfixed form, uh, it, it gives an opportunity to actually start to understand movement a little, a little better to understand the, the layers that are the anatomy of movement. And that's what I'm, I'm bringing to the, to the participant on my uh, Fuzz Tour uh, events, uh, a chance to look inside the body and see movement and create a relationship with yourself inside your own body through that experience uh, so that when you touch or move now, you, you're connected to a whole other level of that uh, fascial web that, uh, permits um, our fluid movement to take place. So in four hours, right, your tour is four hours, your tour with us uh, is going to be four hours. What yeah. can we expect as body workers? We'll talk about maybe other people that can come to this tour. But yeah, people, everybody can come. My mother would enjoy it. My mother did come, and she loved it, too. Really, really. Well, let's just My talk about... My 91-year-old professor from uh, college came a couple of weeks ago with his 91-year-old wife, and they loved it as well. Well, I'm going to invite everybody I can, but let's speak to the rolfer, the physical therapist, the trainer therapist type of profession first. What sure. are we going to do for them in four hours? How... Are you going to, and I don't expect you to divulge the lecture here and now. I want just a little teasers, if you will, of what's sure. being offered for movement. Like you just mentioned that and you just stirred that up and I'm really excited. How will we understand movement even better with highlighting what you will show uh, and speak about on in this workshop? Yeah, well, basically, I've, I've created a focus 
since it is a compressed time frame, right? I can't cover the whole anatomy of the human form. But what I can do and what I do is focus on three types of fascia in particular, because fascia is a big word. It includes a lot of different kinds of tissues, right? So sometimes we're speaking past each other. Yep. And what I do is I basically give people a broader understanding of what that word means by demonstrating several different types of tissue that all can fall under that category um, as part of the fascial system, uh, but help them to have a very distinct um, perceptual ability after having witness my footage and images and conversation so when they go and touch somebody they can anchor their touch now mm -hmm. in a connection with this inside view and conversation that we've had about textures that they already know but they might not have previously identified um, very specifically uh, in, in, in a way that that also includes the movement properties that are different and specific to each of those different types of fashion. Uh, so you'll come, you can come away then for having delved in that way uh, with a sense of what you know, the healthy texture is, how it, fe how it might feel in your hand, what it looks like uh, inside the body, so that then when you put your hands on somebody or when you're moving yourself, you have a, now kind of an x-ray internal uh, sensitivity uh, to that, even without having gone to the lab. I'm basically taking you into the lab and giving you that, a lab course. That's the image you just, I just got in my head, exactly what you just said. It's like I, I imagine attending your workshop that you're going to give here and actually seeing better with my mind's eye really what I'm touching. Like not can't wait to get back to seeing the next client to apply what I've, the concepts, the images, everything I've experienced in your workshop. And now I feel exactly. like I'd be much more informed than my, exactly. my hands would be. And I find, I, you know, I've never been a person to teach specific technique right. uh, to any, any given group uh, because my work gets underneath it all so that uh, exposing these really most basic uh, general uh, ideas and, and trajectories, folks in all different types of professions can then take that and run with it in the direction that they know best. Um, and that's about, the feedback that I get. Let's talk about move, movement instructors, Pilates instructors, trainers, yoga instructors. How would they, because we talked about palpation and touching and therapeutic massage, whatever we do with our hands, rolfing. How about the other type of profession that doesn't have hands on, yet can still benefit from your tour, the information, yeah. well, and apply it? Pilates. Yeah, for the Pilates folks, for instance, I think their their cueing will be transformed on the spot. <laughs> so Pilates uh, teaches, of course, do a lot of cueing, and that um, the language that they use, they might find inspired by this talk that it will bring their cueing to to a different level. Not only that, but the specificity of their own experience, because these folks are like black belts in internal awareness. As, as far as I've observed, right, the movement folks, uh, whether they be the yogis or the Pilates, you know, they, they feel that 1% difference, uh, you know, as they do a movement, uh, when they achieve it, when, uh, whether they be a, a dancer or, or a Pilates person, a yoga teacher, or someone who's doing therapeutic strategies for that same group of people. These are folks who have a keen internal sense of themselves, and to be able to anchor that. Right. Uh, a, little, a little more clearly so that you can discriminate um, and differentiate your experience more specifically. I find it's very I'm, enriching. I'm getting an image of a functional MRI where you can see through the soft tissue as they're moving. That's yeah. my image of what I'm going to get as a movement instructor from your course. It's like I can see through the skin. I'm looking at the layers as I'm taking them through these movements. I can see on an X-ray, MRI, functional MRI kind of level, what the tissue is doing actually as it's moving, not just lying still. So I yes, that. exactly. And then taking that to another step, if we invite athletes, like there's so many people involved in MMA, mixed martial arts, they want to understand more about their bodies. Would they be appropriate to attend your lecture? Absolutely, uh, especially given that a lot of these uh, arts are very focused in uh, musculoskeletal 
uh, anatomy. Or and dancers, emphasis. like dancers. That's what right. I, I used to be a professional dancer. I'd be very, I think I'd be very interested as a dancer to really see mm -hmm. almost what my body is doing from that layer perspective or however you yes. it. Because, you know, there's kind of a lot been missing from the larger story of human anatomy. So our emphasis on, on musculoskeletal anatomy certainly has its place. It's important in stuff. Right. And then also to give it a fascial context, to give it a visceral context also, because this talk also will involve some exploration of the viscera and to realize how powerfully our movement is is impacted and that the effect of the fluidity of movement in our most internal spaces and and how the the movement principles and the anatomy of movement are are different they operate differently there than the musculoskeletal system to be able to identify the different types of movement and also the in inhibitions of movement that result from you know maybe the deterioration of the health of the, some of these layers. Mm, that would be crucial so I, to see. It. Yeah, go both ways, right? So yeah. not only you know to to look w what happens when uh, when it goes off a little bit, right? When things get uh, stuck. Well, the organ system. So I'll be able to illustrate that as well. Yeah, the viscera is something a lot of people are lacking with their approach to either body work or training or movement instruction. They don't really think of that, of course. A lot of people have done visceral manipulation courses, the osteopathic style and others, but that would be amazing if you could pull that in with everything else. And I just started thinking, I'm going to invite, I'm going to invite the teachers of dance. I have some teachers yeah. who own dance schools. I could just mm -hmm. see them going to your lecture and actually being that much more informed when they do a dance class. Or oh, yeah. a martial arts coach or instructor teaching their martial arts class because they wind up the body, you know, into the <laughs> these painful positions to submit someone. You know, it's called submission, yeah. grappling, uh, to make them give up, tap out, whatever, choke them out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's good yeah. for them to visualize actually what's going on uh, from lots of different levels. Mm -hmm. like, I'm really getting excited. I'm extending the invitation to these people as well. I'm thinking of more people that could come. Yeah, great. And I, I do find the martial artists, the dancers, the dance teachers have a, a very are richly impacted by this, and, I, and they do come. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm always glad when they when they do. It's it's quite a it's quite a a, a rich thing for me to work with such. Um, uh, dense, densely different groups of people. Uh, you know, when I started out at this, I would just call up Rolfers on the telephone because I was a Rolfer and I was like, Bill talked to me. <laughs> you know, so when I first started doing the dissection courses, I would just cold call Rolfers until the class was full. Uh, and after I ran out of Rolfers, I extended the invitation to a massage therapist and advertised in Massage Magazine for many years. And that was sort of my go to community to fill my classes with interested people but it, maybe in two th I think the last time I advertised was about 14 15 years ago and I never advertised again actually for my classes I just let it run on word of mouth and when I did that and stopped focusing on one community the class started to get rich with this mix of whether it be an osteopath, a naturopath, a chiropractor, a dance instructor, a martial artist, a Pilates teacher, uh, you know, uh, an engineer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, electrical and mechanical engineers come and take my class. In addition to the, the body workers, the, the structural integrators, the, the acrobats, the circus people, I get all kinds of folks who come because they do have such a keen uh, connection to their body. And a desire to to not only uh, you know recover from their own injuries and the, and the things that invariably occur when you do some of these activities, but also in service of others uh, in healing and and deepening exploration for for themselves and their art. Well, what about people like your mother who came? Can you tell me about what will the public expect? What can they benefit from? What will they learn? And will they be a little scared with some of the images? Would you cover all of that? Well, sure. And and I find that the, the general public is no more or less scared of the images than the professional public who have their own 
fears and anxieties about some of the stuff I show. I have to say, though, that I'm, as you know from having seen my DVDs and, and, and my video work, that I, I have a, a very uh, keen respect and appreciation for people's sensibilities, and I always bring the images forward in a way that they're more easily received than they might if it was done in an abrupt or disrespectful manner. And so the the, the work is, is receivable by the general public as well as by the professional. It's instructive to the professional, but also the general public is out there moving or stiff, right? Uh, and and this is an opportunity really for anybody to, to um, appreciate the gift of their body. Because if you've got a body, you have received the gift of the body, although you may not have opened it up yet. You know, you might not have looked very carefully at the present. You might have ignored it, left it under the tree for a long, a long time. And uh, this is like an opportunity to say, oh, my gosh, you know, it's it's beautiful in there. Maybe I've kept been, held myself at a distance, and yet now I, I want I want to know more. It's, it's not unlike those beautiful um, shows you see on, on – uh, on the earth, you know, where they're, you know, zooming into these beautiful uh, vistas and, and environments all over our planet and, and beholding, you know, nature in its glory, uh, in all of its processes. And I find that this is very similar. When we zoom on into the human form, it's, it's like a, a wonderful trip to any of the most magnificent terrains on earth. Well, I really can't wait to attend and, Anyone who's listening and viewing us, um, nationwide tour, what's the fuzz? Um, on the card, it says it's only $120 for an amazing, I would call it just a, an amazing fuzz experience, but <laughs> it's it's a dissection according to Gil Headley, which is unlike dissections anywhere out there, really. It's very unique. He's been at it for decades, literally now, and he's obviously mm -hmm. totally dedicated to this path. He's constantly rediscovering more and more in his life in his life's work and pulling in of course life's experience into this and that's what i say to my students too it's go a mile deep in what we offer study other things of course but there are so many clinical pearls of wisdom that constantly arise if you stick with something and really delve into it in an honest open and transparent way and i think you see the same thing there's universal truths in this wonderful universe, in the cosmos, and on mm. and Earth, and in our bodies, and mm. I'm so happy that you you share that that same sort of philosophy that we do. Um, yes. Enroll at gillheadley.com, right? For the mm -hmm. course, We're co you're coming here November 20th. This is 2017. There's only uh, where are you uh, where else are you going? I don't want to hit all the cities here. It's on your card. It's on your website. But where are you going next? Well, when I launch the western side of the tour, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out on a diagonal from Florida, where I live, in my camper, and work my way to Jackson, Mississippi, Oklahoma City, Boulder, Salt Lake, Boise, Seattle, Vancouver, and then sweep down the west coast and across the southwest. So, guys, just follow his tour uh, on his website, and you'll see where he is next. But honestly, we have an amazing, huge facility, very comfortable, where you can meet me, Ann and Chris, uh, after uh, Gil Headley's uh, tour and lecture. And we're there to learn. We'll be uh, accepting just anybody who wants to come in, but enroll at gilheadley.com to come and it's only again only 120 bucks it's honestly probably the best uh way to spend that kind of money and it will i think it will change everything i think it'll change your perspective your vision when you see clients after this workshop i, I firmly believe you're going to see your clients movement uh posture uh, and if you can think of the muscle testing, assessment, analysis of people, your clients, totally different. Your patients as well. Disease, even disease, people with arthritis. And the public, if any of you out there have low back pain, if you are uh, suffering from any condition, I encourage you to come and learn about your body. Everyone's going to WebMD and all these other places. And that's one perspective. I think uh, everyone should come to this course for four hours and really learn about you. The, bo the human body in general and about your body in particular. Any words about that? And, uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll add that um, this is going to be the fastest four hours of your life. <laughs> it literally goes by in a blink. 
uh, the presentation is, has, is, is very, you know, fun and fast paced. It's personal, as you mentioned before. This is my journey uh, and, and my learning curve, exposing my own vulnerable <laughs> learning curve. Uh, and I think folks will enjoy it at that level as well. Gil Headley is full of personality. He's animated. He constantly moves. This lecture is going to be a lot of fun. It's anything but a lecture that you must listen to, a PowerPoint, which are boring. Huh. Don't let the four hours scare you. It's going to be chock full of information. You'll be at the edge of your seat. It's performance art. <laughs> it's performance art. On that note, we'll end the, the, the whole uh, the interview about the tour. If you want... To check out Gil Headley's dissection courses, which I highly recommend, go to gilheadley.com as well and find out when his next uh, dissection offerings are available. Thank you. Okay. Uh, on that note, I think if there's nothing else to add. We're good. I'm thrilled. I really appreciate the conversation, Chris, and the chance to bring forward uh, uh, some some. Uh, some ideas about what's what's coming on this tour. That's fantastic. And so and I'm very glad you spent this time with us too. So for everyone else, thank you. We hope to see you at the tour. Uh what's the fuzz? November just make sure twentieth here at Phoenix at the Stretch Twin Institute. Go to stretchtwin.com for the address. Register again at um gilheadley.com for this course. And that's about it. Till we meet again. <laughs>